Woo. You mad. She said, I like milks in my coffee. <laughs> Heavy. I got, oh, a few, I, got a, I got a few things, but let me piggyback okay. off this point. Now. Is it about a white mama? About, about <laughs> Dominique. <mama. laughs> Good for it. I am team Kamala Harris with her husband. I'm team divest if there's no black king that you can find. However, however, I give I give black women, you know, way more leeway because of the situation that I think we find ourselves in, especially when we're successful. However, if you're on white man number two, what you can't do is sit up in, in they face talking about, don't you know my daughter black, we black. Don't act like you care about who black, how they treat your black daughter. I'll, personally, that annoyed the living hell out of me because I'm like, just like Dr. Umar be giving lashes to these black men who want to be Martin Luther King when they are divesting and have been divesting since the beginning of time, I also do not have patience for the black women on the other side who seem to be doing similar things. It's giving you're going two different ways. It's giving counterintuitive. I it's right. It's giving overcompensating It's giving all of those things. And I personally was like, not y'all want to sit up at the wedding after they're, after they're already married, talk about, don't you know my daughter black ma'am? Yes. We all know. We all can see, we see you and your mammy. We get it. Let's just pray for the best because that's all we can do right now. And that was, I'm already annoyed with Dominique's mama because it's giving like you're pimping your daughter out to be with a white man. I don't know what you're doing, but your daughter is 25 years old. Most people don't even get married that young anymore. Back in the day, but my parents' generation, yeah, everybody got that. But nowadays, people aren't getting married that young. And they definitely don't need to be pawned off to get married at 25. So the, the mother is just really weird. Um, just, just really, really weird. And personally, after one white man left me and didn't take care of my daughter to the point where I had to go out and get another man, because that's what Dominique said, that her dad left them, that he has, she has no involvement. I would not have ran out and got another one, but that's just neither here nor there. So that that is my problem with Dominique's mother. I think she deserves her own segment because I think she's very, very problematic. And literally the only reason why Dominique is here, she's puppeteering the whole situation. And I think that's really, really sad and really unfortunate. And I feel bad for Dominique. On to that family. Now I'm going to tell y'all, uh, one, two, three, I'm going to leave Trey alone because Trey not part of it, but uh, Kojo, JR, Sean, Y'all love to talk about we stick up for the white man. Let me tell you right now, this man, McKinley, is broke. I think he's a hobosexual. I think that he is on this on this uh, um, TV show for an apartment or a job. And I think the reason why his mother, on top of maybe the fact that his mother doesn't want him to marry a black woman, or maybe his mother doesn't want him to marry like this in general, I think his mother also knows that he's a bum. And that's the reason why she offered him 50K. Because if he already had money, if he already was doing well, why would why would 50K be tempting? 50K is only tempting to your child who you know ain't got no money. His whole story didn't make any sense. He I coming know, 50K from would tempt me. But if you are well off, if this is something that you really wanted to do, I don't think that that, that your parent would be like, here. 50k not to get married that would need that means there's a need for that 50k i mean i understand we all can use 50k but it's like i just feel like you don't offer 50k to a person who's doing well who really thought this out you offer 50k to uh, your child who's looking for a place to stay which is i think that's what he's doing um and i don't understand his story about he he left washington to go to nashville to be with his friend and and Remember, now all of a sudden he's, he was, huh? he he left wherever he was because he had a dispensary and he that's what he went to tennessee that was one story but then i heard another story that he just wanted yeah. to start with his friend do you know what i hear dust uh, loud and clear i need to get my dice in right now so look there's no debate here i got the I, the dust storm is coming and i feel it and i think Maybe that's going to be part of the big revelation. There's a dust, there's a dust storm a brewing. It's giving Matthew again. 
from the Charlotte season. Look, he doesn't have any money. He has no funds. He has no bearings. I don't think he has a job. I don't think he's rooted in 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 nothing. I think his family has money and they'll save him. But that's a that's about it. So um I think I the think mom was trying to pawn him off on uh, mom. Mom was trying to pawn her off on whoever. I think the mom was like, "Yes, do this, do something, do, just, just do something more." But apparently, she's making good money. She's in sales, and the uh, well, her bridesmaid was just was giving her all the flowers. So her bridesmaid was telling it that she's doing all of these great things. Now you just need a man. Now, and she, her mom was like, "I just want you just to be open and just." To, I was like, "Girl, what are you doing?" What? Um, so yeah, I think that the mom, the way she was talking to him was like, uh, "Is your family okay with this?" And I think that the family, when you saw all them black people, all the uh, coming on the other side, I was like, "Aren't they looking at the other people like, like?" Uh oh, the bride is black. <laughs> so I I don't know maybe not. Uh oh, but I was like, they're not. They're really like, oh okay. So I think that there was definitely something there. Yeah. Go ahead. Jim. Mo, get yeah, you mean my background? That's just a blur background. I don't know if I said your name back right. It's just a blur background. I I think the mom's trying to um, kind of prevent some things that are that could. Put, potentially could happen to uh to the to the daughter because she is very young and she does like to party every week right she's the one that said she wanted to party every week with her home girls or something like that before the wedding day so um i guess the the mom could be looking at it as if she's in a marriage and so it prevents her from running the streets and probably getting knocked up or I'm sorry, pregnant or anything like that at a young age and possibly ruining her career. So if she's doing well in sales, she gets into a marriage and it might be a better path for her, just thinking as uh, what it might be like for an old head. But um, the mom definitely has form because obviously um, being with a, a, a white guy to um produce a biracial child she kind of maybe wants her to emulate her a little bit and how and how she did things or maybe do things that she could have done differently but um yeah mom's de definitely um excited to get her palmed off that's for sure so basically what we're saying her mama trying to keep off the pole just you know oh okay we just, we just make sure okay that's the polite way yeah Keep her at the club. <laughs> yeah, y'all ruthless out here tonight, bro. Uh, people out here moving mad. Yes, it going, Sean. Yeah, um, Crystal. The only thing I would say is all that stuff her friends were talking their life.